Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio. This is my second part of video tutorial how to crochet beautiful rainbow watermelon tunic or summer dress. In the first part we created uh, the yoke and in this part I will show you the pattern for the waist and how to start the chevron pattern on the skirt. The pattern notes are available in the box right below this video tutorial and written pattern is available for free on my blog. So guys, this is what we created and where we finished the first part. The yoke is finished. Uh, I used the four rows pattern. Uh, continually and gradually uh, increase uh, the yoke uh, in uh, four corners, then I joined the corners and I made uh, the sleeves, the front and back part. Both parts uh, they have the same length and uh, the same width, you see. And now I will continue with the waist. We finish with a row with uh, double crochet stitches. So I will use double crochet stitches till I used up uh, the pink color and then I will use the green one for the skirt. So let's get started the waist. This is uh, where I finished uh, the yoke and the first part of my video tutorial. You see, I used a beautiful pattern uh, with puff stitches uh, in every fourth uh, round. And I started always in the middle of the um, back part. Now I made uh, seven rows with double crochet stitches. And this is the end of uh, the pink color and I'm in the middle of the front panel and I don't like it. I think it uh, will not uh, look uh, nicely. So I will start uh, on the side and uh, just to let you know that I made a decrease in every row by 12 by 12 uh, stitches. So the waist is slightly uh, decreasing. Okay, so uh, if you want to make your waist uh, a bit slimmer, make decrease evenly so easily join two double crochet stitches together around, but it's fully up to you uh, how uh, wide uh, the waist uh, will be on your dress or tunic. So I would like to have the green um, the green color on the skirt pattern. I will cut the pink one and uh, the rest of the pink uh, yarn I will use for the front panel. I think it will be enough uh, for the front panel and then I will continue with the green one and continue till the end of my project. So I cut the yarn and uh, pull the end, finish uh, the row with a slip stitch as always. And when I prepare the pattern for the skirt, I decided to use uh, puff stitches as well because I love uh, this puff stitches uh, pattern on the yoke. So I will show you uh, the chevron pattern with uh, chain one spaces and with uh, puff stitches. I think you will love it. <laughs> okay, so now let's get started the last row with double crochet stitches. As I said, you can uh, make the waist uh, slightly decreasing. I made decrease by 12 stitches in uh, every row. Now I will start on side uh, with the new yarn and what is very very important is to have the number of stitches which is a multiple of 12 okay in uh, my pattern now I have 168 uh, stitches 
and I will show you how you can decrease if you want. So start the uh, row, every row with chain two and one double crochet in the same stitch. I don't count chain two as a stitch. Yarn over, start working on your next double crochet. Don't finish it, yarn over. Let's make a new double crochet, yarn over, pull yarn through two, yarn over and pull yarn through all three loops on your hook. This is how you can make a decrease any time you like and as uh, you can make as uh, many decreases as you like, but uh, I would recommend you to do them uh, uh, evenly and you have to finish uh, with uh, the number of stitches which is a multiple of 12 okay so now i have last uh, 12 stitches one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so I have a multiple of twelve, I have one hundred sixty eight stitches. Uh, which means I have 14 repetitions of 12. And now let me show you how to start the chevron pattern for the skirt. I will work in closed rounds. You see the, the green color is perfectly on the uh, back panel. Super, I love it. So now I have uh, 7 rows with double crochet stitches and 25 rows on my yoke and I will start row number one on my skirt. So let's get started with uh, chain one and one single crochet in the same stitch. I don't count chain one as a stitch. So one single crochet. Now in next two stitches half double crochet. One half double crochet and second double crochet. In next two stitches double crochet. One double crochet and the second double crochet. In next stitch let's make a treble. So yarn over twice and treble in the next stitch. Then two doubles. One and two. Then two half double crochet. One half double crochet and the second half double crochet. And now three single crochets. One, two and three. I started with one single crochet so I have to finish with two single crochets at the end of my round okay and now let's repeat it two half double crochets one two two double crochets one and two one treble in the middle so yarn over twice So we have a treble in the middle, then two doubles, one and two, two half double crochets, one, two and three single crochets, one, two, three, one, two, three, single crochets and this is what you will repeat around and you will finish with two single crochets. Here I am. So 
one and two and I will join the round with a slip stitch which is placed on the top of the first single crochet and now I will uh, make uh, double crochet stitches I will start with chain two and double crochet in the same stitch so which is my first double crochet then double crochet second third fourth and fifth now there is a treble and I will place the sixth my sixth double crochet on the top of this treble if now we have five doubles so the sixth one is on the top of the treble from the previous row then I will chain one and place one more double crochet on the top of the treble so it's like a wee stitch one double chain one one double then I will place one double crochet in next five stitches so one two three four and five plus one at the beginning so I have six double crochet stitches now skip one single crochet and place double crochet in next six stitches so one two three four five six you see the six double crochet is on the top of the treble now chain one and place one more double crochet in the same stitch okay which is my first double crochet then I will play double crochet in next five stitches okay so I will have six double crochets group and then I will skip one single crochet and this is what you will repeat so on the top of each and every treble place one double crochet chain one and one double crochet and when you have six double crochets finished skip one single crochet and continue working one single crochet in next six stitches so still we have a multiple of 12 okay six I'm in on the top of the treble chain one and one more double crochet on the top of the treble then five more double crochet stitches to have a group of six skip one single crochet and then again six and uh, we stitch on the top of the treble and I have 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 repetitions around and there are uh, 12 stitches in each repetition okay so now let me show you how you will continue always close the round with a slip stitch and always skip the first stitch okay so slip stitch on the top of the first stitch and then skip one stitch so place a slip stitch in next stitch perfect so I skip one now chain two and place a double crochet in the same stitch and then a double crochet in next uh, four stitches okay so one two three four and I just reach a chain one space and I will place one double crochet chain one and one double crochet in this chain one space ok 
Okay, chain one and one more double crochet in this chain one space. So I have like a V stitch on the top of the V stitch. Then I will place double crochet in the next five stitches again. So one, two, three, three, four, and five, plus one on the top, so I have six, and now I will skip two double crochet stitches. So skip one and two, and again work one double crochet in next five stitches, till you reach chain one space. One, two, three, four, five, perfect, and in a chain one space work one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. And then you can easily continue one double crochet in next five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five, and again skip two double crochet stitches, then continue one double crochet in next five stitches till you reach chain one space, and work one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet in chain one space. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'm and on the top chain one space, so place one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet in chain one space, and then again one double crochet in next five stitches, and skip two. One, two, three, four, five, here we are, and now skip two double crochet stitches and work one double crochet in next five, and then we stitch on the top of the we stitch in chain one space. So it's easy to make a chevron pattern, and I will show you in the next round how to make a pattern with chain one spaces and in uh, um, next I will show you how to make a pattern with puff stitches okay so I will meet you at the end of this round make sure you have v-stitch on the top of the v-stitch and you always skip two double crochets when you finish uh, uh, one repetition. Okay, I skip two and close the round with a slip stitch and place a slip stitch in next stitch. So I skip uh, the first stitch. Chain two and let's place a double crochet on the top of the same stitch where you started chain two, which is my first double crochet. Now I will show you how to make a pattern with chain one spaces. So chain one, skip one and place double crochet in next. Chain one, skip one and place double crochet in next stitch. Chain one and now place double crochet in chain one space. Okay. Then chain one and place double crochet in next double crochet. 
and if you look carefully uh, in the on the middle uh, of my pattern you see there is no chain one space on the top but instead of it there is one double crochet which is placed in chain one space I will continue chain one skip one and one double crochet in next chain one skip one and double crochet in next and this is the end of my first repetition so I have to skip two stitches okay I have one two three four five six chain one spaces now skip two double crochets and place double crochet in next then chain one skip one and place double crochet in next chain one skip one and double crochet in next chain one and now I will place double crochet in chain one space again chain one and work double crochet in next double crochet chain one skip one and place double crochet in next chain one skip one and double crochet in next okay so I have again six chain one spaces in one repetition and I will skip two stitches one two and place double crochet in next one chain one skip one and place double crochet in next chain one skip one and place double crochet in next stitch chain one and place double crochet in chain one space this uh, pattern is uh, for the row where you have uh, uh, an even number of stitches in one repetition so now I have 12 6 plus 6 so this pattern is uh, uh, for the number of stitches if you have an even number Okay, and I made uh, three more rows with double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Uh, again, I have six plus six stitches and chain one space uh, in the middle. And I always skipped two uh, double crochets uh, between the repetitions. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and now I would like to show you how to make uh, the pattern with puff stitches. It's a uh, quite similar pattern with uh, the pattern with chain one spaces. So a slip stitch in the first stitch, then chain two, and uh, double crochet in the same stitch where I chain then chain one and skip one double crochet okay and in next double crochet let's place a puff stitch so yarn over once second time third times four times and five times okay so yarn over five times then yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hook chain one and chain one skip one double crochet and place a puff stitch in the next one okay so I will make two puff stitches and two puff stitches in one repetition then chain two skip next double crochet and place double crochet in chain one space so I have double crochet puff stitch puff stitch double crochet in the middle then chain one and let's place a puff stitch stitch in the next double crochet okay so again I have a double crochet in the middle 
in chain one space it's very similar pattern uh, as for the pattern with chain one spaces puff stitch then chain two skip one double crochet and let's place a puff stitch in next stitch again yarn over five times to have the same puff stitch as we have uh, on the yoke as we created on the yoke yarn over pull yarn through all loops on your hook and chain two skip one double crochet and let's place the last double crochet in this repetition in the next one skip two as always double crochet in next chain one and puff stitch in next double crochet so as you can see i have four puff stitches in one repetition and the beginning is uh, the same as i used for a row with chain one spaces and also the top okay so skip one and place a puff stitch in the next one and now I reached chain one space okay finish the puff stitch okay chain two and place double crochet in chain one space perfect let's chain and place a puff stitch in next double crochet so puff stitch and again this is the pattern when you have even number of stitches in one repetition Okay, so I have four puff stitches in each repetition. This is the fourth one. Chain and skip one, double crochet and place double crochet in next and skip two double crochet stitches as always. And let's place double crochet in next. So let's look on my pattern once again. You see, we have one, two, three, four puff stitches, and I chain two between puff stitches, and I have a double crochet in chain one space on the top, and always I skipped uh, two double crochets between two um, repetitions. Okay, so I will meet you at the end of this row, and I will show you how we will continue with double crochet stitches and I will have uh, three rows with double crochet stitches between uh, between uh, the this uh, pattern with puff stitches or pattern with chain one spaces okay so skip two stitches and close the round with a slip stitch place on the top of the first double crochet and now I will uh, make three uh, rows with double crochet stitches. No increase. <laughs> so uh, let's move by a slip stitch in chain one space. Okay, so skip the first stitch as always. Chain two and place double crochet in chain one space. Then double crochet on the top of the puff stitch. Okay. If you will have a double crochet here so place double crochet on the top of the double crochet okay and uh, we have to have uh, again six plus six stitches in one repetition and chain one in the middle so this is my second double crochet the third one in chain one space the fourth one on the top of the puff stitch and now be careful and place two double crochets in chain one space 
So one and two. Now I have six double crochet stitches. Then chain one. We have one, two, three, and one, two, three. So we have six double crochet stitches. Then I chain one and let's place two double crochet stitches in next chain one space. One, two. The third one on the top of the puff stitch. The fourth one in chain one space. The fifth one on the top of the puff stitch. And the last six one in chain one space. We have six. Then skip two stitches, two double crochet stitches and continue uh, with one double crochet in chain one space. So I have six and chain one in the middle. Perfect! <laughs> so skip two and place one double crochet in chain one space. Then double crochet on the top of the puff stitch. Double crochet in chain one space. Double crochet on the top of the puff stitch. Double crochet in chain one space and one more double crochet in this chain space. So we have six double crochets, then chain one and work two double crochets in next chain one space. One and two. Then double crochet on the top of the puff stitch. Double crochet in chain one space. Double crochet on the top of the puff stitch and last double crochet in chain one space then skip two stitches and this is it my crochet friends you already know how to make the pattern the chevron pattern with chain one spaces and with the puff stitches if you will have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me you can put the comment right below this video tutorial or you can reach me on my facebook page pinterest or instagram in the last third part i will show you how to finish the skirt how to increase how to make small cute little picots on the last row so Happy crocheting my crochet friend. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.